Hey guys, welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Survival Horror Game Series, and in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our inventory system inside of Unreal Engine 4. So if you're not up to date with the series so far, I advise that you go ahead and check out the last video just so you can get stay up to date with where we are, see what we've got, and hopefully have all of your blueprints in the same place as us. Now over the past few videos, we've been working on this simple little inventory system whereby the player can pick up objects such as logs or keys and such like that and then add it into the inventory and then hopefully discard it and pick up other items. Now there will be a whole bunch of other stuff for this like using these um, items for objectives, creating a simple crafting system and a whole bunch more. Anyway, if you also haven't checked out the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series, I also advise you check, uh, check that out so you can easily follow along and understand. Anyway, in today's video, what I wanted to do was I wanted to continue going on with some of the conditioning for the item, so it checks whether or not all of the slots are empty, not just slot 1 as we have it at the moment, and I also want to go over the uh, content bindings inside of the HUD widget as well, as as of right now we only have one of the little slots in our inventory working, so hopefully we're going to get all of this set up, and in the next video we're going to be going over discarding your items, and then a video after that, hopefully, we should be showing you how to change it to images as opposed to colours. So without further ado, let's start off with um, checking whether or not all of the slots are empty. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and work with my wood inventory pickup. Now hopefully at this point you've only created one pickup so far and we can sort of use that for a template whenever we're creating other objects later on. So. As for conditioning, it's quite simple here. So if you remember, in the last video, we just basically ran a few checks to see whether or not slot 1 item is equal to 0, and that's our way of checking whether or not it's empty. We essentially just need to do the same thing for slot one, uh, slot 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this branch a couple of times because we need to run 5 checks. And it's always going to be false if we're going to, you know, try and move on to the next one. Because if it's true, we're going to fill the slot. If not, we're going to move to see whether or not the next slot is empty. Now, we will be adding in functionality for a little pop-up to say your inventory is full later on. And we'd pretty much just do that at the end of these checks. And we just pretty much create a widget and that says, you know, drop an item, your inventory is too full, whatever, anything like that. Anyway, so what I need to do now is I need to get the slot 2 item, slot 3 item, and so on. And I need to hook it up, and I need to do the same thing. I need to see if it's equal to 0. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to get slot 3 now, and slot 4. And lastly, I'm going to get slot 5 as well. And I'm also then going to copy and paste... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this uh, simple little conditioning uh, to see whether or not, you know, it's equal to zero. And I'm going to do that five times because we need it five times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up this to the A on all of these. I'm going to need one more of these apparently. There you are. And there you are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook these up in the exact same way. And there should only be one little bit left that we need to do, and that is to pretty much just fill the slots like before. So if we go ahead and take a look at how we've done uh, how we've done this, is we just set the slot item one to a different ID, and that ID is going to be depending on your item. If you remember in the last video, I started creating this little Word document which is full of item IDs, colors, and all of that stuff. If you don't have it, I definitely advise you download it just so you can check it out. And also, if you're creating your own items, I definitely advise you create something like that for yourself. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to set the slot 2 item, slot 3 item, and so on. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to set it to 1 for this wood pickup. Now I'm going to be showing you later on how you can create a pickup for a different item. So I'm going to show you pretty much just how to change the ID that it's setting it all to. And then uh, you know our bindings should do you know everything else that we need. So let's go ahead and set all of this stuff. So set slot item 2 and we're just going to pretty much just hook this up in here. 
and once again we need to make sure that we destroy the actor so it disappears but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the same destroy actor node just so that we can um, you know just to make it look a little bit cleaner so we don't need the same item you know five times or whatever so I'm gonna keep going with the slot free item now set set slot free item and then do it again slot 4 set slot 4 item and one last time for slot 5 okay so let's go ahead and hook all of these up so here we are one two and three and one last one and it's also good practice to just quickly make sure that all of these are in the right place so slot 5 is going to be connected to slot 5 here slot 4 is going to be connected to slot 4 and so on and so forth it's just you know just eliminate any bugs that may come up later on so hopefully now all of these should work we just need to make sure we set the ID exactly the same so 1 1 1 1 and 1 there we are and that's brilliant and that's pretty much everything we need for our pickup item it should work perfectly fine now I'm just gonna do one thing down here so if all of the slots are fill, uh, full I'm just gonna print the string and it's just gonna say inventory is full and we're gonna test this out in a second is full so let's go ahead and try this out let's test it so I'm gonna go and uh, you know add in a whole bunch of these pickups one two three four and five and six and hopefully when we run over these now it should say our inventory is full so let's go ahead and check so we got one okay it's not strong yeah, it is one two three four and there we go it's telling me the inventory is full now and it's not destroying the item it's not letting me pick it up and that is working exactly how we wanted it to so the next thing that we need to do is we need to finish fixing up our heads up display inventory you know little image things so we're probably not gonna it's probably not gonna look like we're actually doing that much in today's video it's mostly just fixing things up and tying up all of the loose ends but anyway let's get into the HUD widget and what we need to do now is pretty much the same process as we've done for all of these slots we pretty much need to set up an identical binding and we're going to have a binding for slot 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I'm going to quickly take a look at this just to make sure it's all good. And what we need to do is we need to create a couple more pins. And these pins are just going to be for the different IDs, different colors. If you don't want to do that now, you don't have to. If you want to, you can just duplicate this, uh, this binding. And all we're going to have to do is pretty much just change this slot one item uh, for each binding. So let me go ahead and show you how we can do all of this stuff. So at the moment, we're working with get brush zero. We don't know which slot that is. So let's go ahead and quickly name it. So get slot one item. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this a couple of times just so that we've got one for each slot. So it's quite easy to do, just right click and duplicate. And now we're just going to change the name, which is hella easy to do. Just do it all the way over here. So rename and slot, get slot to item. And just do the same from one through five. Get slot three. And in a second, I'm also going to show you how to set all of these bindings so it should all work, uh, hopefully, to so get slot four item and one last one get slot five item okay so now that we've done that let's go ahead and test this so now we need to put the bindings on all of these so by default we've got get one slot item over here on the first one well not by default but what we set we just got to do the same thing on the second one now so there you are, not get brush one. Let's just go ahead and check these. I'm gonna compile and save it just to make sure it actually saves these out for these saves these for me so I can use them. So here you are. Get slot two item. Get slot three item. Get slot four item. And one more for slot five. Now make sure that you do actually compile it if you can't see it in the the list of bindings down here. And then it should all work for you. But anyway, now these should all be set up. Uh, should all be set up. Let's go ahead and press play and see what happens. So hopefully, when I start picking up all of these logs, 
uh, you know, all of the wood here, it should actually start to turn all of my inventory slots blue. So one, two, three, Okay, so it's not changing. Now, there's a very good reason for this. It's because I actually forgot to change the slot item inside of the script. So you can see the target here is slot 1 item. We just need to change this according to the binding. So for the second binding, we just change the target to slot 2 item. So let's go ahead and do that. Slot 2 item, and then just hook it up into the switch on int, just so it knows what it's working with. And just do the same all the way through, 1 through you know, three, four, five. So get slots, free item, hook this up. Slot four item, Let's delete this one. Get slot four item, hook that up, and one more. There you are. Let's do it. Get slots. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a test now and hopefully it should all work out for us. So if I press play and I start collecting these logs, that's one log, two logs, three logs, four logs, and okay, so it's still not working. So what I've got to do here is I've got to open it up and see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to take a quick look at my script here. All of my functionality for the conditioning seems to be looking okay. And I've also got these all set up properly. So let's try and figure out what's going on here. So this bit seems to be okay. Set slot item one, set slot item two, so on and so forth. So if it's equal to zero, or if it's equal to zero, returns true if it's equal to zero. So if it's empty, it's gonna set it in there, it's gonna destroy the actor. So that seems to be all working. So let's go ahead and leave that bit and let's open up the HUD widget. Maybe there's a problem in there. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I'm not going to skip the video or anything like that. I want you to be able to see my process of, you know, finding any bugs in the code and stuff like that. So I'm just going to quickly open up my get slot 5 item and stuff like that just to see what's going on. Maybe there's an issue there. So get slot 4, 3, 2, OK. So there doesn't seem to be any problems here from what I can see. Let me just do, 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 do. Ah, okay. So no, nope, that looks perfectly fine actually. So let me just try this again and see exactly what happens. So I pick up one, two, and it's only seeming to go into the first slot, which is a little bit weird. So I'm going to open up my third person character and I'm just going to make sure the default values for all of these slots are set to zero. So it knows it's empty. Okay, so I think I've just figured it out actually. Um, so the thing that we need to do is, I've just realized it's changing the color for the same image the whole time. So if I go ahead and open up my HUD widget, and if I go to my graph, you can see we're setting the color and opacity, but it's doing it to the same object, the same image, the first inventory slot. Now, sometimes there can be silly little mistakes, silly little things like this. Um, so we just need to quickly clear this up. So what I need to do is I need to open up slot, get slot 2 item, just open it up, just double click it to open it, and in my designer, I need to get the name of this, and I'm going to change this to inventory 2, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly reference inventory 2 instead of inventory 1, and I've got to go and do that for each slot. So I've got to get the reference and hook it up to the targets here, and now, hopefully, it should actually start working for us. So I'm going to press play, and let's collect two of these, and it's starting to fill up now and it's beginning to work. So just go ahead and do the same thing for slot 3. Just get the inventory, get all the inventory stuff, slot 4, just delete it, and then we just got to start renaming things and working with whatever we got to do. So get slot 4 item, inventory 1, inventory 1, and then inventory 5, let's go ahead and do this. Um, so this is pretty much going to be the end of the video. Once you actually start replacing all of this stuff, it should all work just fine for you. I'm going to get another reference to this. Inventory free. There you are. And once again, going to get inventory free. Drag it in here. Nope, this is slot 5. Make sure you get it right. Slot free. 
there you are. Anyway, this is pretty much everything for this video. I've hoped you enjoyed it. If you want to continue with the series, just keep on, uh, you know, creating awesome con uh, creating awesome stuff. Follow along, and there should be videos every couple of days. So, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.